here is how to get a master's on your star test if you have no idea even what to do and you want to start right now. If you have zero knowledge about math, you don't know anything about math, you can start right now and get a master's score on your star test. And you'll definitely at least pass. You'll definitely get the approaches. You'll get the, you'll, you'll get the best, you'll get the lowest passing grade for sure. But you can totally even get the masters out. It's six steps. This is step one of those six. And it's not hard. I promise you it's not hard. T try it. You're going to like it. I promise you. All right? Let's go. All right, so you're about to take your star test. Maybe you haven't been doing anything. It's been online, COVID, whatever. You don't know anything. Your test is happening in a week. All you need is like good five real days, not class day, just five days, like calendar days, to be able to practice this. But you have to practice. You have to practice and put this in you. That way you can be great. It's going to be so simple. I promise you, there are six things you have to learn. This first one is going to get you seven to nine questions on your star test. And it's the easiest thing you could do. All right, so here you go. Ready, set. Wait, tell me, before we go, we got to make sure our, our eyes are open, our minds are clear, our hearts are ready to receive this, that we don't have to watch this eight times. You watch it one time and it makes sense. Yes, yes, and it sticks with you forever until you're done with your start test, and then whatever happens, happens. All right, but let's go. We're going to say the student creed. Say it with me. That way I'm not by myself. Come on, don't make me be a loser. Oh, I'm a loser by myself. You're not a loser if you say this. This helps you get smarter. This gets you better. I've seen kids say this and get better. Kids are too cool to say it. Nah, they, damn, they're, still too, they're too cool to pass. I'm not even just saying that. I'm being for real. All right, here you go. Student creed on three. Ready? One, two, three. Today is a new day. I can read well. I can understand what I read. I can remember it and apply it correctly. I've got eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mind to understand. It might not be easy, but it's worth it. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, ready? Now we're ready. We're ready to go. Everything we say and teach right now is about to mm, take root into you. You can be great in here. All right, here you go. Your start test. Do you know what grade you have to get to pass your start test? Seven, I mean, you got to get a seven in the classroom to pass the classroom. So what do you think? Seven on the start test? No, you don't even have to get a seven on the start test. That's like a master or close. You're almost a master if you get a seven on the start test. No, it's not a seven. You don't have to get that to pass the start test. 60? No, not even a 60. 50. All right, if you said 50, you're still too high. You don't have, you have to get a 50. You have to get a 41%. You have to get 41% to pass the start test. Now, there are 20, no, 54 questions on your start test. You have to get 21 of those questions correct to make it at 41%. Obviously, 21 is the lowest amount you want to get right. Nobody in their right mind should get below a 21 after trying this stuff and taking this seriously. If you are stuck and you need help and you are serious about it, this is going to help you. You're going to pass. You'll be fine. But if you're not trying, eh, it's okay, I'm going to try, whatever. Then that's on you, bro. But I'm giving you everything you need. I'm, there is no easier method than this. You can guess all the way. Like if you're gonna, there's even a smart way to guess, and I'll teach you about the smart way to guess. But if you just guess solely, like just pure guessing, the highest grade you can make is a 26%. So think about that. Like you still gotta get whatever, but 41% is a passing grade. You get anything below of 20, uh, 41%. Something's wrong, you better sit your butt in algebra again for another nine months of your life because you just wasted these nine months of your life. But if you just focus up now, give me five good days of you busting your butt, you'll be great, all right? Even if less than that, then you better bust your butt even harder. It's not impossible. You can still do it. If you get 21 to 32 questions correct on the start test, then you're considered a beginner. Yeah, you're, you're, you're approaching grade level. You're not really good enough yet, you're, but you're barely on grade level, but you didn't fail it at least. But you, you know, you're getting close. If you get to a 33 to 40 questions right on your start test, Hey, you're on great level. You got it. You got something going on. Very good. If you get 41 questions or greater correct on your start test, you're what we call a master. You will get a master's level. You are a stud. You're so stinking smart if you get a master's. Now, master's is 41 and more. Now, with these six things that I'm going to teach you, you can get 44 questions correct on your start test. You might not get them all right. That's okay. If you're going to get 100, then that's beautiful. You are so smart. But you can get 44 four questions right on your start test just from doing what I'm going to ask you to do. Just from doing these things I'm going to show you to do. I'm not going to ask you to do, oh, we're going to do these tricky, amazing, cr tricky things. No, it's, hey, it looks like this. Let's try this. That doesn't work. We try this. That doesn't work. We try this and done. And then if none, of those, none of those three things work. We just guess. Good luck. And I'll show you how to guess too. All right, so th th that's what I'm going to ask you to do. Bust your butt. You can be a master. It's right there. You can have it. Just try and trust me, all right? So ready? Here we go. Let's take you through the start test. So you have your start test, it's, you know, I'll be going through the uh, 2019 start test. So here it is, they're gonna say, all right guys, let me begin, you got four hours to do this, boom, 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 you'll start. And then the first thing you wanna do is the easy questions. You're gonna go find the easy ones. By the way, when you do your start test, 
don't go in order. Don't go one, two, three, and then I have to work on them hard, and ah, oh, and then hard. Right, the last one you do is 54. No, don't ever do a test in order. Skip around, jump around, find the easy ones first. Well, my teacher told me that I want to take my brain while it's fresh and do the hard ones first. Well, I got a fresh brain and I can do these hard ones. You know what happens when you take a fresh brain to a hard question? You bust your butt for 10 minutes on there. Oh, you're tired and man, I don't even know. You walk out of that question feeling beat up. You still don't know what the answer is. You do your best guess. Then you go to an easy one and you're like, I'm not, I don't even got the, nah, let's just whatever, I don't, I'm done. And you mentally shut down. So you don't take the best brain you have to the hardest questions. You take your best fresh brain to the easy ones. Hey, that builds momentum. That reminds you of stuff. And then you go to the medium, then you go in the hard and you guess on the whatever, all right? So we go to the easy ones. How do you know which ones the easy ones are? I'm so glad you asked. The easy ones are the ones that say equivalent. That's strategy number one. Find all the problems that have equivalent. This strategy here is gonna give you seven to 10 questions on your start test. Sorry, sorry, that's a lie. It'll give you six to nine questions on your start test, correct. All you gotta do is these things I'm about to ask you to do, all right? So here we go, ready? Let's get the start test. You got four hours, let's scroll through it. Nah, that's junk, that's junk. Don't worry about the formula chart, who cares about it, never gonna use it. Blah, 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 cool, cool, who cares, that's one. All right, here we go, ready? Let's find the equivalent stuff. Does that say equivalent? No, it doesn't say equivalent. Let's keep going. Oh, this guy, does he say equivalent? I don't know, let's see, a golfer hits. No, don't ever read the story. Never read the story. Whenever it comes to this math stuff, only read the question. So we're gonna read the question. Let's see, what is the domain? Nope, that doesn't say equivalent. Don't ever start by reading the story on a math question. The golfer hits the golf. Who cares what the story? That's there to confuse you. All right, this guy says domain is a function. All right, not it. This guy says makes the equation true. All right, there's no equivalent yet. Keep going. Uh, this guy says the function is equivalent. Oh, found the equivalent. Let's go, baby. Let's zoom in so I can see this guy clearly. All right, here we go. Uh, equivalent to this. Uh, what, you're just going to type in the junk, man. Type in all that junk. That g of x equals x squared. We're typing that guy in. Oh, wait. Time out real quick. Make sure you got the right star. You got your star test calculated up. Your Desmos star test version. I'll have the link in the comments. It'll be in the description. It's here somewhere. Click on it. If it doesn't stay star version, then that's not the one. You're using the wrong one. It's going to mess you up. All right. So ready? Here we go. We're going to type this guy in. It says g of x equals x squared plus 15x minus 54. What do I type in? Just type in all that junk. Obviously, don't do the question mark. All right, here we go. g of x, x squared plus 54. Okay, here he is. Nice. All right, so I typed it in. Here it is. Now, you know it's good whenever you see a little squiggle right there on the left. That means, hey, I made a graph for you, bro. Go look at the graph so you can see the picture. All right, where is the graph? Well, sometimes I like to turn that on and off. That way, oh, I can see where the graph is. So if you click on the little squiggly line, it'll flash it on and off. So here, here's the graph, you can see it. Now I'm gonna turn it off, Whoop, back on, on and off. All right, that's the line we're talking about. Sometimes you might get confused. You just flash it on and off, and then that's the guy we're talking about. All right, so here it is. I got the question in. Now equivalent just means matching, so all I'm gonna do is type in the first choice the same way, just exactly the way it looks, obviously without the F in there. So let's see, uh, type in the guy exactly the way he looks on your computer. Here we go. G parentheses x equals x squared plus x minus six. Cool, typed him in, blah, blah, blah. Oh, now I have a blue guy on there. Is that blue guy exactly on the red guy? Are they matched up exactly? Let's see, let's see. Let's flash, turn them off, turn them on. No, I can see two different. I see a blue and I see a red, they're separate. No, no, this isn't it. They're not matching exactly. It's not choice A. We're gonna get A out of here. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna test choice B. So here we go. Type him in, g of x equals x parentheses x plus da Type it in, you know what it says. All right, there he is, I typed it in. All right, it's green, where is the gate? Oh, it's right there on the red, nice. This is what an answer looks like. This is what equivalent looks like. All right, real quick, let me change this projector mode, make it bigger than we can see it. Nice, this is what an equivalent looks like. I like him. Boom, circle G and you're done. You know you got it right, 100% certainty. All right, let's go, let's find more equivalent. Uh, rate of change, nope, that's not, oh, table shows a linear, no, don't read the story, only read the question. Rate of change, no, that's not it. Equation of slope intercept, nope, that's not it. Uh, graph represents, nope, that's not equivalent. Baker determined, uh, nope, I don't see that. Exponential function, uh, I don't see equivalent. Uh, equation of slope intercept, nope, I don't see equivalent. Uh, I don't see equivalent, let's keep going. A student worked at the gym, no, who cares what the story says? Just go to the question, all right. No, there's no equivalent there, let's keep going. Uh, quadratic function, nope, I don't see equivalent. Expression is equal, yup, we found one, let's go. So we're gonna do this guy, all right, let's make him bigger so we can see. All right, he's right there, we can see. All right, let's gonna type this guy in just the way he is. Don't get scared, I don't know what to do. Who cares? Just type in the junk. So erase that, erase that. 45, M, 
By the way, don't, don't be worried about what you're about to type in, right? It's gonna be 45 M. To raise a little power, you're gonna hold shift and push the six. It scoots it up, sorry, yeah, hold shift, push six, it scoots the power up, take it down, scoot the arrow over. So M to the negative six, P to the two, V to the 12. Now to get that, that fraction bar, you're gonna hit the question mark button on your calculator, on your keyboard. It's right there next to the shift. Boom, put the line under everybody. Let's go 15 M. Uh, we're gonna raise him to the negative two. Then we're gonna go P raised to the eight. And we go V raised to the negative four. All right, I have it typed in correctly. But wait, I have an error. I don't have the little squiggle that I had last time when it gave me a picture. All you got, don't worry about it. All you got to do is click on that guy and, and see what he says. Uh, I don't know. Define MPV. He says he doesn't understand what MP or V are. So you have to tell him what M is, tell him what P is, and tell him what V is. So we're going to make up some numbers right here. That way this guy works for us. So we're going to type in M. And M is our first letter that we have. So we're going to call him 1.1. So M equals 1.1. And now, oops, sorry, I put a two. Now I've got P, so I gotta tell him what P is. P is our second one, so I'm gonna call him 2.2, nice. Now I got choice V, so now I got letter V. I'm gonna tease the third one, so I'm gonna call him 3.3, 3. 3. very good. So V equals 3.3, 3. and watch what happens. Boom, I get a gray box right there. It says 357468, nice. Now, if there was a fourth letter, if it said a T on there, whatever, I had to just go, all right, T equals 4.4. However many letters they give you, that's how many 1.1s, 2.2s you're going to have. I always thought it was 1.1. It's the easiest thing to do. All right, so I've got to match that box. There's no picture for me. i got to match that box. It says 3574. So I type in choice A, 38, V to the 8, over M to the 8, P to the 6. Uh, nope, that doesn't match. So I, I will X him out because I'm looking for 3574. That's not 3574. Type in choice B. It says... 3V to the 16, uh, get, go over, over, M to the 4, P to the 6, does that say 357, oh, it says I found the match, we got it, we're done, we can confidently know that this is your answer, nice, circle him, now the thing you had to learn here was, we had the M, the P, and the V, if you have this error, just click on the little blue triangle, it'll say, hey, I don't know what M, P, V are, you tell him, M is 1.1, P is 2.2, V is 2.3, and you'll be great and you just match the little numbers and that's it for real this will help you get some questions done on your test for real all right let's find more equivalent nope uh barbecue equivalent nope uh which present is equivalent found an equivalent let's go so let's erase this guy we don't need him anymore all right all right all right here we go parentheses 10 plus 7 r minus r squared close the parentheses plus parentheses negative 6 r squared minus 18 plus 5 r Cool, I've typed him in. Okay, oh, I have a problem. Uh, let's click on it, see what it says. Try a oh, try adding y equals to the beginning of the, okay. So let me try to put a y equals in the very beginning. Y equals, nice, it, it shows up. And it gives, sorry, and it gives me a graph. Nice, so here we go. That's the guy I want to match. Let's type in the first choice. Negative seven r squared plus two r plus eight. Oh, I have an error, what does it mean? Oh, I gotta put, okay, I guess I gotta put y equals in front of these two guys too. So there's my y equals, there's the graph. No, that's not, that doesn't, that's not what equivalent looks like. Get out of here. We try choice G. Uh, we got 7R squared plus 12R plus 8. Uh, oh, I gotta put y equals in front of this guy too, I guess. All right, what? This guy's, what? No, that's not equivalent. Get out of here, bro. You're not the one. Let's type in choice H. Negative 7R squared plus 12R minus 8. Uh, oh, oh. I gotta put the y equals. Okay, I keep forgetting, man. All right, let's go y equals. Nice, this is what equivalent looks like. I found it, we're done. I can circle choice H and I finished. I know I've got it correct. I'm 1000% certain, nice. So whenever you're having errors, all you gotta do, click on the little triangle, he'll tell you what to do. All right, this guy, nope, doesn't say equivalent. This guy, nope, not equivalent. This guy, nope, not equivalent. Rate of, nope, not equivalent. This guy, nope, not equivalent. Uh, based on the web, nope, not equivalent. The equation, nope, not equivalent. Equivalent, found another equivalent, let's go, let's go, we're gonna type this guy in. All right, get it nice and neat, all right, here you go. Ready parentheses, X, Y, raise, oop, oop, raise to the negative six, close parentheses to the two. Okay, there he is, oh, I got an error, let's see what he said, ugh, I don't know, I don't even know, I don't know what this means. All right, here you go, here's a tip, you have to remember this though, right? Whenever you're doing these questions, they have like the little numbers on the top, like, like we just did with the MPV, all that stuff. You can't use X and Y for this. You can never use X and Y whenever you're doing it like this. So you're gonna erase X and Y and just call it A and B. All right, so I'm erasing X and Y, call it A and B. 
So for this whole problem going forward, I gotta change the X, Y to A and B. Now wait, there's still an error. He says, oh, he doesn't know what A and B are, so you gotta tell him what A and B is. We just did this, right? A is the first letter, so it's gonna be A equals 1.1, nice. B is the second letter, so it's gonna be B equals 2.2, nice, look at you. Oh, and look, it fixed it. I've got .0009, I gotta find that guy. So let me see, I gotta match him. So I type in the first choice, A, B equals negative 36. Nope, that's not, no, that's not, that's not the one. I'm looking for .0009, that's not him. Type in choice G. X, Y, 36, it's not working. Oh, I forgot, man, I got, I, I changed X and Y for A and B. All right, so I fixed it. Nope, that wasn't it. Looking for 0.009. X squared, Y raised to the negative 12. Uh, change that guy, that's the B. Sorry, that's the A, X is A, and Y is B. There it is, there's my 0.0009, got him. All right, don't forget, you can't use X and Y whenever you're doing these things like this. All right, here you go, this guy, uh, nope, not equivalent, not equivalent. Uh, not equivalent, not represented, equivalent. Oh, equivalent right here. I already said, wait, but you already know how to do this. We already did one like that. You'll be great at him. Don't worry about it. You go do him on your own. Uh, equivalent, equivalent. Uh, oh, 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 found it right here, number 34. Which question is equivalent? All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to type this guy in. But wait, the equivalent thing that we do, it only works whenever there's choices to compare the question to. Since I don't have any qu uh, choices here on 34, I can't do the equivalent thing and I'm gonna miss this one. But that's okay, because even with this one missed, there's still 44 questions that I can still get on my start test and still be a master. So don't worry about it. Good job, test makers, you got me. Oh, uh, numbers are true, nope. Equivalent, nice, 36, type it in. Wait, we did one like this before. You should be fine doing him. You do this one on your own. All right, let's keep going. Uh, equivalent, no. Uh, represents, no. No. Uh, no, represent, no, uh, solution, no, equivalent, found him, type him in, but you already know how to do this, you've done this one before, you didn't want to like this, uh, let's go find some other ones, no, no, oh, lots of reading on this guy, equivalent, nice, but you know how to do him too, so let's keep going, uh, no, no, function, no, no, oh, found one, we haven't done before, all right, let's, let's do this guy, all right, here we go, let's type him in. Four, now the hard part is typing in that weird little radical symbol, that little square root guy. You have to go to open up your Desmos keyboard and it's right there, it's right there on your Desmos. You gotta expand the keyboard to get the symbol, type it and that's how you do it. So you type it in, now it gives you numbers, now you gotta match the numbers, so type in the choices. We've done this before, you know how to do this. I'm trying to match that 48.49. Nope, that guy didn't match. Type in choice B, I'm trying to match that 48.49. Nope, that's not him either. I'm trying to match that 48.49. Is he there? No. Try to match that 48.49. It's got to be choice D, right? Let me just circle it and keep going. No, because he might have made a mistake. Who knows? Nice. We got it. That's the one. Now I can confidently circle choice D, and you're good. All right, 54. Nope. No equivalent. All right, you're done. You just went through the start test, the 2019 start test, and you have found nine equivalent questions that you are going to get right. All you gotta do is find 12 more and you'll be you'll get your 21. But we're not shooting for 21, we're shooting for 44. It's gonna be so easy. Now, equivalent is the first thing you wanna do. It's the easiest. Study the stuff. Make sure you're good. Practice this. Go through all the other star tests that I have linked in here in the description. Go there, check it out. Test the equivalents. Go there. I'm not lying. Go there, check it out. Do it for real. You can be great, you can be as good as you wanna be. No one's gonna stop you from being a master but yourself. Now study, study so that you can show yourself approved. You wanna help your friends, help your neighbors, help yourselves, help your teachers, help yourself, man. You wanna be a symbol of hope whenever you walk into the room. You know, people say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. Yes, I need help. Can you show me how to do this? I got you. That's the kind of person you wanna be. You wanna be able to walk into the room and save somebody's day because we need more. Heroes, all right, y'all be safe. Have a great day. We're gonna get this money. We're gonna get this bread and get the star test done. You'll be fantastic, all right? Nothing to be afraid of. Y'all be safe. Let's go get them. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It's our honor. All your sons, all your daughters give you praise. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, Father.